Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to design and simulate the isolated non-synchronous push-pull converter for PoE application. So if I say the PoE application, that means that the power over Ethernet. The power supply for power over Ethernet and the input input voltage range is 34 volt to 38 volt and the output voltage is 50 volt at the rate of 2.6 ampere current okay so PAE POE basically supports the output voltage of 50 volt and I want to design 130 watt high efficiency isolated non-synchronous push-pull converter so so the current would be 2.6 amps and the minimum load requirement for this converter is 20 milliamps and now let us understand the different components and the circuit flow used to design this circuit okay so if you look at here this ic this ic is the synchronous push pull pwm controllers so basically this ic generates the pwm signal to drive the mosfet we have here the tlt1431 and what is the lt1 1431 it is programmable reference okay and the ltc 3723-1 is the synchronous push pull converter uh, synchronous push pull pwm controllers and lt1431 is the programmable reference ic if you look at down here okay now let us understand first the circuit flow how you are going to design the push pull converter for poe application if you look at here the, this is the whole design for push pull converter right and if you look at this this is our input and which is connected to the vcc pin as well as the uvlo pin and then if you look at this side we have the drive a the, we have the pwm output which is coming from the drv a to to turn on the mosfet q1 and we have the drive b drvy b to turn on the mosfet q2 and this r1 is 15 ohm to sense the current okay peak current of your mosfet then if you look at here this side we have the compensation pin comp pin and the comp pin is connected connected here by a 26 270k resistance and it is also connected with your feedback network okay and if you look at the transformer we have the coupling between primary and secondary k1 l1 l2 l3 l4 and the coupling factor is one so l1 is 60 micro henry l2 is 60 micro henry and l4 and l3 the secondary inductance is 167 micro henry then we have the filtering inductor that is l5 and now if you look at here we have the feedback circuitry which is i am taking from the output output of push pull converter and this is connected to the v plus pin if you look at now this is connected to the gener diode here d3 and the v plus pin and uh, other reference pin is connected other other thing is connected to your reference pin here we have the the voltage divider this r if you look at here v plus is driving the led this is the optocoupler i am using here and this the output here is connected to the compensation pin this is comp and that is how the feedback closed loop completed and if you look at this side now this side we have reference pin which is connected to one microfarad and ground the then we have the dprg pin connected to the v reference pin with 10k resistance rlab and one microfarad at ss and the ct is 220 picofarad okay and now if you look at here we have the two mosfet and uh, to to the primary winding and your power supply is connected to the center point of your primary winding to primary winding okay if you look at here this is our center tape 
and here are DC supply is connected and this side we have the MOSFET Q1 and this side we have the MOSFET Q2. In the secondary side we have the induct transformer winding as well secondary transformer winding then we have the rectifier here D2 and we also have the rectifier which is D1. Let us now run the simulation and let us see what is the waveform you can see at different nodes. So uh, let me first show you the input voltage okay let me delete this and let me show you the input voltage and if i click on here this is my input voltage you can straight away see my input voltage right and uh, once you see the input voltage let me show you the gate driver signal okay the gate driver signal so the gate driver signal i'll click first here the q1 mosfet driver signal and then i will click on Q2 MOSFET gate driver signal volt, right? And this is this is zero volt also zero volt to 36 volt. This quite strange. And let me if I place this in the single window, if you see the when the other pulse is high, when the first pulse is high, the second pulse is low, and then the second pulse is low, the first pulse is high, and in between we have some dead time now let me show you the drain signal of your both mosfet so first i click here so you see this is the signal and then i click here the at this point let me zoom in so then i click at this point if you look at now the drain waveform for both mosfet q1 and q2 both MOSFET Q1 and Q2, the drain waveform of both MOSFET Q1 and Q2, it looks like this. And if you overlap here, let's see, it looks like this. Let me change the color so you can see it. Right, so let me change the color now. Basically, this is drain waveform drain waveform of both MOSFET Q1 and Q2. So if you, I, I measured at this point and I also measured at this point, okay? So if you look at here, it looks like very nice waveform, drain waveform. You can overlap to each other. I overlap each other and it looks like this. Let me show you the output voltage and the output current waveform. So this is my output voltage waveform. Let me click here and here I'm going to show you the output current waveforms. So this is your output current waveform and if I do like this, you can clearly see, right? Let me change the color. This is the red, red color and I'll take this to the blue color. So now if you look at my output is voltage is V out is 50.5 volt, which is very stable. And my output current is at the moment 2.52 ampere. This is also stable. Let me add one plot pane and let me show you the power. Okay. So now I'll show you the power of this circuit power rating. So if you look at here, the power of this is 130 watt. Okay. Let me change the color some other color let me define okay so the power rating for this push pull converter is 130 volt Output voltage is 50.5 volt and the output current is 2.53 amps and the power rating for this push pull converter is 130 watt 